Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the oral submucous fibrosis. So this is the condition where the soft tissue of oral cavity becomes stiff and the mouth opening is gradually reduced due to stiffness. As a result, there is the difficulty in opening mouth or eating or chewing. So in this video, we'll be talking about its clinical features and uh, histological features and its causes as well as its treatment. So if you are new in this channel, please like and subscribe, that would be highly appreciated. So let's get started with the definition. So it is an insidious chronic disease affecting any part of oral cavity and sometimes pharynx, although occasionally preceded by or associated with vesicle formation. It is always associated with juxta epithelial inflammatory reaction followed by fibroelastic changes of lamina propria with epithelial atrophy leading to stiffness of mucosa causing trismus and inability to eat. So this is the long definition that was given by Pinberg. So this OSMF is an insidious chronic disease. So this is a chronic disease that occur insidiously. That means without any signs and symptoms. So it occur without any signs. And this could affect mostly oral cavity, also sometimes pharynx. And uh, it is uh, mostly associated with vesicle formation. So vesicles are the small raised uh, areas filled with fluid. So here is the picture of vesicles. These are the vesicles. So in OSMF, in most of the cases, in the initial phases, there is a vesicle formation. And it is always associated with juxta epithelial inflammatory reaction. So, juxta epithelial inflammatory reaction means beneath the epithelium there is always inflammatory reaction. And this is followed by fibroelastic changes of lamina propria. So, in the lamina propria, the fibroelastic nature changes. And this leads to stiffness of mucosa, uh, causing trismus and inability to eat. As the fibroblastic uh, nature changes, there is more fibers produced and this leads to stiffness of mucosa and that causes trismus and it ha it causes inability to eat let's see the etiology of osmf so the main causes of osmf is chewing lots of erica nuts so excessive erica nut chewing which contain a chemical called ericoline so this ericoline causes stimulation of fibroblasts to produce more collagen leading to osmf so here's the picture of OS, uh, erica nuts. This erica nut contain a chemical called ericoline. And this ericoline stimulate the fibroblast. As fibroblast gets stimulated, the more fibers are produced and the fibers cause stiffness of oral mucosa. Also, the erica nut contain four components, ericoline, ericidine, guavacin, guavacolin. So, uh, the ericoline is the main agent that causes OSMF. Also, erica nuts contain tannins and copper, which causes OSMF. These tannins and copper also stimulate the fibroblast and it helps to uh, it helps to develop OSMF. Also, the excessive consumption of red chilies uh, can causes OSMF because the red chilies contain chemical called capsaicin. And this produces allergic reaction in the oral cavity and it helps to uh, trigger the OSMF. So the, the red chili also helps to uh, produce OSMF. Also, if there is nutritional deficiencies like vitamin A, vitamin B complex and vitamin C, it helps to trigger the OSMF. Also, immunological factor also leads to the OSMF. Also, when there is a genetic disorder, it may lead to OSMF. But the main causes is the erica nod. Let's see the pathogenesis of OSMF. So the main causes of OSMF is chewing erica nods. This erica nods contain chemical called ericoline. So this ericoline is eventually turned into ericidine as in here. And this ericidine causes fibroblast stimulation. So as uh, the fibroblast gets stimulated and they start to produce more collagen here. As a more collagen is produced, the collagen causes stiffness of soft tissues like uh, they start to de deposit in the soft tissue and this leads to stiffness of oral cavity. Also, this ericoline causes increased uh, increase tissue inhibitor metalloproteinase. 
also known as TIMP. So this TIMP main function is to inhibit collagenase as their number is increased so they causes more inhibition of collagenase so this is collagenase is the enzyme that helps to break the collagen as the as collagenase is inhibited the collagen is increased more because they are not break down by collagenase enzyme as a result collagen is increased and these collagens are deposited in the soft tissue and leading to stiffness of oral cavity also the copper in the erica knot causes increased activity of lysyl oxidase oxidase enzyme so this enzyme causes fibroblast stimulation as a fibroblast gets stimulated they start to produce more collagen which eventually deposited in the soft tissue and there is a stiffness of oral cavity let's see the clinical features of osmf so it mostly occur at the age of 20 to 40 years as these age people are mostly involved in chewing chewing erica knots have it also if you see the sex it is more in male than female as male are more involved in chewing erica knots and if you see this site it mostly occur in the buccal mucosa in the cheek area and also sometimes mostly occur in tongue lips pharynx and uvula so the osmf has two stages there is early stages and advanced stage so in the early stages there is a burning sensation on taking spicy food so at first it there is some burning sensation when you take spicy food also there you feel excess salivation and defect gustatory so when you try to eat something you don't feel the taste there's some defect also there is a formation of multiple vesicles so they are the fluid fill sac as you can see in the picture there are tiny fluid fills uh, fluid filled raised area these are called vesicles also here this is the vesicle these are the fluid fill sac so in early stages there is a formation of tiny vesicle in the advanced stage there is gradual stiffening of oral mucosa with reduction of mouth opening as time goes on the more collagen start to deposit in the oral mucosa as a result the oral cavity start to stiffen and there is a mouth opening reduction and when there is difficult in mouth opening that is called trismus also bland slightly opaque so the affected area become blanched blanched means the area become pale or white in color as you can see in the picture the palette is blanched that is white white color in shape also here these are the blanched area also vertical white fibrous band on the inner aspect of the cheeks so if you feel the uh, cheeks there you can feel the fi uh, vertical fibrous band on the inner aspect of the cheek and there is a difficult in deglutition also referred pain in the air and intonation of voice so when you try to swallow there is a difficult in swallowing and the pain is felt in the ear and also sometimes there is an intonation of voice that is like uh, speaking through nose also depapillation of tongue as a result there is a gustatory defect due to depapillation of tongue the papilla are lost also inability to whistle as the uh, oral cavity becomes stiffened and become hard so it is difficult to open mouth and move so there is inability to whistle also patient have shrunken uvula like bud so the uvula are these are the uvula so the uvula shape sizes changes and they become bud like small let's see the staging of osmf so we have five stages of osmf so group one is very early stages the mouth opening is normal that is 37 to 60 mm in male and 35 to 50 mm in female this is the average size and in the early stage there is only burning sensation and there is excessive salivation and in the group 2 stage the mouth opening is reduced that is it becomes 26 to 35 mm and in here the soft palate and faucial pillar are primarily affected so in the picture there is the soft palate so in the group 2 only soft palate these are the soft palate are primarily affected also these are the faucial pillars so the soft palate and faucial pillar are mostly affected in the group 2 stage and the 
buccal mucosa appear mottled and marble like so if you see the buccal mucosa in group 2 stage they become different in the color like there's some spots or there's some stains or different colors and also red erythromatous patch is present so if you see the oral cavity there are red patches in the oral cavity and in the group 3 this is the moderately advanced stage the mouth opening is gradually reduced so it becomes 15 to 25 mm and there is a trismus that is difficult in opening the mouth and also the vertical fibrous band could be palpated so the this vertical fibrous band start to develop and you can if you try to feel them you can feel them easily also the anterior fauchial pillar in scar like appearance so in the anterior fauchial pillar there are like scars scars so it become dry and scar like shapes and lips atrophy of vermilion border so vermilion border are the borders of the lips so here uh, in the picture this is the vermilion border and this starts to disappear and group 4 is the advanced stage so there's a stiffness of oral mucosa that is trismus so there is difficult in opening the mouth and the mouth opening is gradually reduced it becomes 2 to 15 mm also uvula shrunken with fibrous band the uvula becomes shrunken here's the picture of uvula this uvula is shrunken from its uh, normal size and it becomes fibrous band it becomes hard and tongue movement is restricted also there's a uh, tongue movement is there's difficult in movement of tongue and the lips circular band is felt in the entire mouth so even in the lips the circular band is felt if you try to feel the lips you can feel the circular band and group 5 is the last stage so this is the advanced case with pre-malignant changes such as OSMF and leukoplakia and OSMF and squamous cell carcinoma so in this stage there is both OSMF and leukoplakia or OSMF and squamous cell carcinoma let's see the histological features of OSMF the epithelium is atrophied with short or flat reti rises. So you can see in the picture, the reti rises are being atrophied and they have become flat or short. So here in the picture, they are becoming flat. They were supposed to be here up and down. These reti rises become atrophied or lost and they become flat. Also, connective tissue just beneath the epithelium so hyalinization and it is called juxta epithelial hyalinization so here this is the epithelium and just beneath it is the connective tissue and this layer undergoes hyalinization that means this layer become clear and transparent and they undergoes the process of hyalinization so this process is called juxta epithelial hyalinization juxta means just beneath the epithelium also connective tissue show fibrosis with dense bundle of collagen fibers so in the connective tissue you can see a lot of fibers that are being deposited here so many fibers that that become deposit so connective tissue so a lot of dense bundle of collagen fibers because of fibrosis blood vessels are narrow as the fibers they are deposited everywhere and they suppress the blood vessels as as a result they become narrow also collection of chronic inflammatory cells such as lymphocyte plasma cells as in here so here's the collection of inflammatory cells also in severe cases muscle fiber undergoes degeneration so in severe cases some of the muscle fiber that can go under degeneration as in here these are the muscle fibers that can undergo degeneration Let's see the differential diagnosis of OSMF. So it could be scleroderma. So this is the condition where there is a hardening of skin and other body parts due to deposition of collagen fibers. So in scleroderma, it not only occur in the oral parts, but more on the uh, skin and other organs too. And it could be also fibroma. So this is the fibrous, this is the benign tumor of fibrous connective tissue. And it could be also generalized fibromatosis. So this is the rare disease where there is a numerous fibrous tumors. And this could be present at the birth.
also it could be amylodosis so this is the condition where there is an abnormal protein deposition and the OSMF malignant transformation is 17 to 13 percent let's see the treatment of OSMF so the first uh, treatment is obviously elimination of habits of Erica not chewing so this habit needs to be completely stopped also corticosteroid can be used so corticosteroid mainly suppress the inflammation also it prevent the fibrosis by decreasing fibroblast proliferation so this corticosteroid this uh, prevent the stimulation of fibroblasts and they decrease the fibroblast proliferation also this can be taken in the form of local injection or topical application or in the form of mouthwash also this hyaluronidase enzyme can be used this hyaluronidase helps to break the hyaluronic acid and and also placental extract extract can be used so in the placental extract the combination of dexamethasone hyaluronidase and placental extract are used so this is very effective method and nutrition uh, high protein vitamin b complex vitamin a vitamin c should be optimum as possible so this helps to uh, this helps to improve the osmf con <coughs> also physiotherapy can be done so there is a forceful mouth opening exercises and also heat therapy is done and this helps to tr uh, treat the osmf quicker also in extreme cases surgical treatment is done so in surgical cases the vertical fibrotic bands or that are present in the mouth they are cut and removed 